I'm Yasna Lashrafa, I'm the Managing Director of HQ Can, which is HQ Creative Arts Network. Um, I'm the owner and founder of HQ Recording Studio and HQ Familiar Record Label. But when my son was born, uh, when I was 26, he was born with a cord around his neck and he had cerebral palsy. Um, I ended up losing my job to kind of to take, take him to all the appointments he had to go to and to look after him. And I kind of realised I needed to be my own boss so I could create my own hours and have that flexibility for appointments and whatnot. So I kind of re recruited three of my friends to become directors of this company with me and we started off doing like mobile um, DJ workshops, music production, did that for about a year and a half and then we got the chance to take over um, this building in, in the city centre. Um, we called it HQ because we couldn't, we couldn't, we just always called it 5HQ. It was a massive part of rave culture back in the day so it was a bit of a dream come true taking over this place. The mission, I suppose, is to take people who are either a bit lost or they don't know where they want to go or they don't know how to get where they want to go and basically kind of just push them to the point where they can, I suppose, yeah, live their dream, find their purpose and, yeah, live better lives. My name's Fadiz, I'm from Nottingham and I'm a representative of HQ Familia. I'm an artist and I make the shrewdest music known to man. And that's me. It's a place where you can be yourself. It's a place where nobody judges you, or nobody's looking at your background, your past life, whatever. Like it's just a place where it's music based and creative based. So it's my savior kind of thing. So like I really feel like if people come here and they're from the ends kind of thing, they will feel welcome and they won't feel judged and they can actually just do what they want to do, which is be creative. Two awards in the past three weeks. I got the 30s under 30s award, and then I just got the breakthrough award for Princess Trust as well. Princess Trust generally the awards are only up to 30 year olds, and I went the year before with one of the young people I was working with who won an award. And I actually went home and said, if I go to another award ceremony now, I'll, I'll want my own award. A new Mentor of the Year award, uh, Yazin El Ashrafi, the first winner, I think deserves very special congratulations. I think it was the first time, you know, we suppose we really got big recognition for what we're doing, you know, so it's kind of just something that we do and we don't really want, I suppose, props and, you know, people like, I don't know, like a pat on the back for it, just helping them is what we do it for. but. At the end of it, they're leaving with like music that's industry standard, and you know some of them are getting the chance to perform on a stage, and some people it's just literally just somewhere where they can come once a week and you know feel I suppose like safe and happy and express themselves through music and stuff. So the social investment we took was a fifty thousand package. It was a forty two thousand loan and an eight thousand pound grant. And I used that money to firstly build a second studio, then to fully equip both studios to a, a good level. So we can, we, can be, we can say we're industry standard. Um, I also used some of the money to hire somebody to basically help me. Yeah, it is a debt, but then most businesses are gonna have some kind of debt or finance to repay. So we have to be brave enough to I suppose, take on a bit of debt. That was really good, and I don't think we could have got to this point without that, without the investment, to be honest. 